Marcel, you are the founder of Travidoc. Tell us about this startup. Sure, so Travidoc is a way for international travelers to get connected to highly skilled doctors abroad in case they need medical assistance. I travel internationally now and then and can see myself using such a service. How does it work? So Travidoc is currently a web app that um, helps you to find a provider based on your personal preferences. And um, in addition to that, based on your time availability or time constraints, uh, you can book an appointment online or you can basically reach the physician directly on a cell. It's basically like the Uber for healthcare. Marcel, in this course, we stress that a great product and a great business, they start with a great understanding of the persona. Mm -hmm. Who is the persona at Travidoc? So first of all, you're completely right about that. I think what a lot of startups are missing to you know, bring it to a larger scale here is basically identifying this kind of persona, knowing what their business is about and who they're actually serving. I think at the end of the day, you're serving their needs, but not necessarily your needs. So in Travidoc's case, um, we have defined our persona. Her name is Maggie, and Maggie is basically a 35-year-old marketing executive who under, underwent basically a relocation from Singapore to Dubai, a very common scenario of the type of audience that we are addressing. Two months into her journey being there with her family, um, she got sick because it was very stressful settling into her new place, accommodating everything to her new job. So Maggie actually um, was seeking for a provider. And for her, it was basically a need to find a provider that you know, suits her interests and her preferences. How does Maggie use Travidoc? So she basically uses Travidoc in order to learn more about the doctor, meaning eventually supporting her decision-making process to find the right provider in her new desti destination, in this case Dubai, but also to get timely access to her provider. Because as you can imagine, she's a top executive, she doesn't have a lot of time on her hands, so therefore it's of utmost importance for her to get immediate access to the provider that she needs. Therefore, using our online appointment scheduling system, besides being able to speak directly to the provider, serves her need actually of getting timely access. And globalization means that there are millions of people like Maggie around the world, right? Absolutely. I mean, just think about the number of expatriates, meaning people living and working in several countries around the world. I mean, you can focus on areas with huge economic growth where they need certain foreign talent. I mean, these are people constantly relocating. Another term that we can throw into the pool is brain drain, right? Where people start relocating based on certain desired talent that is needed in certain parts of the world, yes. Give us an example of how you and your team benefited from being really thoughtful about how your persona would engage with your product. I can give you a specific example. Perceived quality of the doctor that you have planned to visit. Our initial understanding was very much that the quality is based on the amount of information that you share with a prospective patient, the Travidoc user. But that was actually not true at all. Uh, providing more information about education, clinical experience, etc., doesn't necessarily add something to the overall quality that we want to convey. It's actually something completely different, and this was a direct result of our primary research. It's actually the portrait picture that makes all the difference in the world. So we actually required all of our doctors to put a smile on their face, something that's very unconventional, because it's the opposite of perceived medical professionalism. In addition to that, actually, we enlarged all of our portrait pictures, and this again led to a higher conversion, meaning more patients selecting doctors that consider such simple suggestions. Now, Marcel, you've lived in Germany, mm -hmm. in South Korea, in Switzerland, in the United States. You were a doctor as well, so I can see how someone like you, especially with your energy and drive, would start a company like Trevidoc. Mm -hmm. But tell us more about yourself. Sure. Um, so I'm from a very small town in Germany called Münster, like my last name. And from there, I was always like looking abroad. I just wanted to explore the world. And that's, and you just mentioned uh, some of my clinic rotations. I got excited to explore and see more different cultures, wanted to learn more about different healthcare systems. And I think it's really important to uh, succeed in the startup world to have a little bit of everything, not just the domain expertise in the field that you are approaching, but also the business acumen that you need in order to realize and make a startup happen.